Okay, so one of the things we use on our Android phones a lot is the volume panel. So how about giving the volume panel a makeover? Well, recently I've come across two new apps, Ultra Volume and Volume Styles, and both of these apps let you theme the volume panel completely. I like Volume Styles more because it brings a lot more themes and the UI is more cleaner. There's the iOS theme, One UI theme, a cool Wave theme, MIUI, ColorOS, OxygenOS, Windows 10, a knob theme and more. I mean, personally, I like the knob theme the most because just look at this. It's so fun and looks so cool. I also like the iOS style volume panel and it's not just the themes. You can customize this slider completely, be it the size, the position and more. You can even add more functionality like adding a brightness toggle here. Now, all of these options are free, but there are a few themes and options logged in the premium version. So yeah, you should check it out. Status bar isn't something we give a lot of thought to when using our Android phones. I mean, yeah, it's there, but let me tell you that on Android, you can totally revamp it. I've been using Super Status Bar for this, and this is an app that lets you do a number of cool things. First up, my favorite feature is sticker text. This shows the notifications in the status bar itself, like the good old Android versions, as you can see here. The app even lets you disable heads up notifications via ADB, so no annoyances there. There are even gestures you can use in the status bar. For example, you can slide left and right to change the brightness. And as you can see in the app, you can even add more gestures to the status bar. This is probably handy for compact phones, but yeah, there are other customizations too, like a battery bar, different status bar themes, including an iOS theme. Although this and some of the options are logged in the premium version of the app. Either ways, you should try this to customize the status bar on your Android smartphone. Okay, so wallpapers are one thing that really changed the look of your phone and I know there are a lot of great wallpaper apps out there. But you know what really caught my eye? MIUI 12 Super Wallpapers. Yep, they look really cool and thanks to XDA, you can install them on any smartphone. You can just download the wallpapers from the link in the description and when downloaded, you will see the different folders. Just extract them using a file manager and once done, you'll see the APKs to the different wallpapers. Just install them one by one and now just open up Google's Wallpapers app. Yeah, make sure you have it installed. Here, if you go to the live wallpaper section, you will see the cool Mars and Earth wallpapers from MIUI 12. Just apply them and that's it. Now check out the Mars wallpaper in action. Yep, that is cool. Now check out the Earth wallpaper in action. Yep, the animation isn't the same on the lock screen, but these wallpapers look beautiful. Quick settings toggles are super handy, be it to turn on Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or to rotate, you get the idea. But you don't get a lot of options here, so how about customizing it to get more options? This is where Tile Shortcuts comes into play. With this, you can create a quick setting shortcut for just about anything. You just hit the plus button, select the tile type. Now you can create a shortcut for an app, a shortcut, a website, a shortcut folder, or even an activity. These are really handy options. So say I wanted to add a shortcut to Paytm's Make Payment page so that I don't have to open up the app and then tap Pay. So yeah, I can select Activity here and add Paytm's Payment Activity, this one. But now I can just choose the icon for the Quick Settings toggle. As you can see, there are Paytm's icons here as well. And there are even options to add custom icons or an icon from an icon pack. Now I can just hit Done and that's it, the tile is created. Now I can just edit the Quick Settings page and add this Tile 1 shortcut. And it's done, the Paytm shortcut is here. I can just tap it and it takes me to the pay page in Paytm. How awesome is that? Always on display and edge lighting has become a popular feature and there are a number of apps that bring this feature, but a lot of them are super confusing. I've tried them out and I think the best app for this one, always on AMOLED. When you open up the app for the first time, you just give it the permissions it wants and that's it. Now you can enable the always on display with a simple tap and customize things like say the different theme, state and time, the animation, the apps you want to see and more. Here's the always on display in action and yeah, it looks sleek, right? There are also edge lighting options and you can customize the style, the mode, adjust it based on the curves on your phone or, or if your phone has a notch. It's very detailed and works perfectly. That's honestly the best thing about it. The second best thing, it's free and while some features are paid, you can watch an ad to unlock them and try them out. See, I'm not a big fan of One UI in general, but if there's one thing I like about it, it's the notification shape. I mean, I like the fact that it's one-handed UI approach makes the quick settings so accessible. Well, OneShade is an app that brings a One UI-like notification shape that's also totally customizable. 
Once you've given the app the required permissions, you will enable a notification shade that looks like this with the One UI like quick settings panel. Now in the app, there are a number of cool options. You can change the quick settings icon shapes like this, add brightness light in the first swipe page itself, change the colors in the app, make things transparent for a more cooler look. And there are a lot of more options. There are even options to change the carrier name, add a profile picture. Yep, there are a lot of options here that you're going to love, so check it out. See, not all Android phones get the latest Android updates. And if you're one of those people whose phones are stuck on Android Pie or older, and you want a taste of the Android 10 gestures on your phone, Full Screen Gestures is the app you want to try. The app lets you add gestures from the left edge, right edge, and obviously the bottom. Now, I don't think the bottom gesture plays well with the navigation buttons, but the side gestures work really well, as you can see, and you can even customize it. For example, I've set the swipe on the left edge for the back gesture, and as you can see, you can set a swipe far gesture for a different action or even open an app to use often. Same with the swipe on the right edge gesture. You can even customize the sensitivity, the size, and the feedback on these gestures. Yeah, this is awesome, and this is a free app with a few ads, so go ahead, check it out.